There's no feeling more helpless than to watch as someone gets swept out to sea. God, oh my Jesus! Just last year, a 23-year-old man from Dartmouth died at Peggy's Cove with his brother needing rescue himself after jumping in to attempt to save him. Three firefighters there and they had a rope around a, a person that was in, in the water. Despite signage warning of the danger, visitors continue to venture out onto the wet rocks every year. Yeah. With funding from the Life Saving Society of Nova Scotia, engineering students at Dalhousie University designed and built a tubular launching device that shoots an inflatable life jacket to the victim within the critical initial 60 seconds after they fall in. The ability to be used during extreme winds was a factor built into the design. You get a lot of wind, so we need something that's going to be really powerful and the projectile itself it needs to be aerodynamic, so as you can see we kind of compacted the, the life jacket around the tube so it can be as narrow and kind of tight in there as possible to eliminate uh, uh, wind gathering into the flaps and stuff. The idea is to have several of these posted in and around the problem areas of the rocks here at Peggy's Cove so anyone can just take it out like a fire extinguisher and be ready at a moment's notice to shoot out the life jacket to whoever's in need. Yeah! The compressed air launcher uses a bike pump to shoot out the life jacket which is attached to a rod that's also attached to a 200 foot line that will inflate the jacket when pulled and also be used to help pull the person ashore. Still a prototype, it's not ready to be put in the water just yet. Yeah!